Well, I've got something that's unusual that's never happened to me before. What I've got is a cable that I installed last year. And you can see it was a short cable that went from this side to this side. And the reason for the cable is this long skinny piece right here is very, very flexible. So I'm guessing what happened See, I've never had a cable break like that. I've, I've seen situations where, you know, the J-lags have pulled out or rot has set in. But to have a cable break, I, I'm perplexed. So what I'm thinking happened here is the cable actually was pushed and bent and pushed and bent repeatedly in, in the wind. And that caused the end of it to break. So that's a bit of a surprise to me. I, you know, it was pretty tight. So I'm, I'm guessing as the wind blew, it went down and then came up and down and up. And if you bend metal back and forth enough, it'll snap. So I'm not sure exactly what the fix is going to be for this. So I've tempor temporarily put a piece of, of webbing in here because we got some winds projected. So I, uh, I thought about it and I thought, you know, I, I think I'm going to put it slack. You know, it's doubled over, so this got a breaking strength of, you know, about 6,000. And I, I think with the slack in there, it'll it'll go a little bit further. But because it's a flexible um, piece of material, the, it'll it'll hold up. Now, I, I do understand that, that webbing goes bad in time. And the sun degrades it and it'll weaken itself. So I think what I need to do is... Uh, alert them to that or figure out a way of recabling this in such a way maybe a chain now a chain's not a bad idea if I put a chain on here then the chain could move and flex I'd have to use a couple of links that I can get over that and I don't think I'll have it tight I think it needs to be slack in this case uh. never know what's going to happen when you're doing tree work. So last year we took off this limb that was rubbing very harsh on this part of the tree. And that limb was stabilizing this so it grew pretty tall and, and pretty wispy. Um, with that stabilization gone, this limb moves more than it should. Well, we discussed it and we thought, you know, that fills a big void in the tree and it would be better to leave it because it'd be easy to say, well, let's just take it out of there. But taking it out of there is inclusive of that section as well. And we'd end up putting a big wound down low which could lead to long-term decay in that part of the tree and then we would have virtually no foliage on this side and that was why i came to the decision of putting that little short cable in there never in my wildest dreams did i think that it would break so lesson learned short cables um, there's some problems with short cables that i had never thought about Well, on to our regular job for the day. We had a number of trees to trim to work on, including these basket case Modesto ash. I don't know if you have Modesto ash in your area, but they are kind of a self-destructive tree that has a limited lifespan to it and ends up with all kinds of tight crotches and decay pockets. And, and if somebody comes along and tops the tree, like these were topped for the power company, they just lead to long-term decay. What I'm finding is in this big crotch here, there's all kinds of vegetation growing. And when you see that, that's an indicator that there's enough dirt in that crotch to support life. So when you see weeds or funny plants growing in a crotch of a tree, that's a, something that you got to pay attention to. you got to look at it. So uh, I got up in the tree and did some work on it. We took both bucket trucks out on this job because this was not a tree that I wanted to climb. It was so rotten. 
everywhere you look it was just riddled with termites and really this tree should come down but they're city owned trees so the city needs to take that responsibility and the people were quite afraid of this tree they park underneath it I mean I didn't even want to be up in it so you can see the power company comes along and wax every single one of these trees on this neighborhood the ones across the street um, those are butchered as well which is kind of interesting and there's no power line so there's no justification for the improper pruning other than the fact that a lot of people don't know any better so at the same time uh, we had a bunch of trees in the backyard but we also had this eucalyptus and the people had it topped in the past you can see down low where the the tree was topped severely um, it was topped to about 20 feet and all these long sprouts came out and they wanted us to retop the tree and I said well I'm not sure if you want to do that and they said that they were selling the house in just a few months so I said you definitely don't want to do that so this is what it looked like after we were done it doesn't look like we did much but we took a lot of weight off of the tree but still left it looking presentable so hopefully they'll mention to the new homeowners that they've got a few high maintenance trees on their property every day is a different job so hey thanks for taking the time to watch this presentation and please subscribe and give me some comments thanks